Hi, hello, this is Shweta. Welcome to my classes. Today, we will be dealing with the crystal phase splitting in square planar complexes. So, square planar complexes means your coordination number will be what? Your coordination number will be 4. Then, how many ligands will be there? Definitely, how many uh, like uh, coordination number will be there? No? So many ligands will be there. This is coordination number. Okay. So, 4 ligands will be there. Ligand number is equal to 4. Then, how they will be metal, uh, like how they will be approaching the metal ligand here? So think that four ligands are there, then it is, your, it is your metal, then how they will come? They will come along four axes. So which are those axes? You can take this as x, minus x, and this will be your minus y and y. Like this what happens? Like all of your four ligands, I will show your ligand as here. So all your four ligands will be there, no? Coordination of four means four ligands. All the four ligands are approaching in the xy plane along the axis. So you have to remember this. In square planar, no? Ligands are approaching, ligands are approaching in the plane, in the xy plane along the axis, okay, along the axis. I have to remember this, it means what, ligands are along the axis in only xy plane, here nowhere connected to z, so z2, whatever 2z that there are in octahedral you had learned now, those two z's are removed, then whatever the complex is resulting, that is nothing but your square planar complexes. So you have to remember that your ligands are approaching in only xy plane along the four axis. Clear? Now you have the d orbital, isn't it? So d orbital I am drawing. So this is which? This is x and y. So I am drawing d x y. So here it is the d x y orbital. Another one I draw. That is
So here, whatever the distance is done of, this is called as delta S P. So where S P stands for square plane. From this diagram, you can what you can depict is that. So here, this will be your delta naught, isn't it? This is octahedral splitting. This is your square plane. So from these two, what you can observe is your delta naught, that is octahedral splitting, is lesser when compared to that of square plane. So what you can conclude is that your delta naught is less than. Uh, your octahedral splitting is lesser than that of square planar. You have to remember that square planar splitting is more than that of octahedral. Again, here how you fill the electrons? You will fill the electrons based on whether it is high spin or low spin. How you fill the electrons here? It will depend upon strong field or weak field ligand. So it depends upon how your ligands are. So if it is strong field and weak field, so in one case it will pairing will takes place, in other case pairing will not. Takes this with example in next video I will be uploading. So here you just remember that. So based on the strong field or weak field ligands, as you did in the octahedral case, here the filling up of electron takes this. And one more thing. So if your electrons are paired up, then it will be diamagnetic. If one or more unpaired electrons are there, then it will be paramagnetic. I hope you understood the crystal phase splitting in square planar complexes. So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon for notification. Thank you.